So, hello everybody to you on YouTube, welcome back for the stream. They never left, but for all of you that are watching this post-stream, welcome back to the Crash Bandicoot Let's Play of Crash 1 in the Insane Trilogy. We got the Coloured Gems in the last episode, and in this episode we're just going to do another highlight reel of us just going and getting all the gems, because I'm sure you don't want to see the same level being played for a second time, so we're just kind of like make a montage of us getting all the gems and leaving all the funny moments. So, enjoy for you at YouTube, enjoy the highlight reel, but for everybody on the stream, let's go! So, now we've got to go all the way back round to the first level and work our way back all up to the Great Hall. And there, by the way, a holder of darkness, there is the Stormy Ascent. So yeah, the DLC level got added. But, ooh. Oop. And we start at Jungle Rollers. Jungle Rollers. Now, can Spyro spin the TNT correctly? Nailed it. Nailed it, son. 30. Nice. Get out of there. Boom. Normal gem. Get in the platform. 91% complete. You know, depending on how fast we get through these levels, this might even equal just like uh, a video on its own without editing down. Nah, don't don't lie, Spyro. You know some of them, like Sunset Vista, are going to take ages to do. Salty Spyro. Nah, blame. There's going to be no salt today. The salt is uh, the salt is far gone, Blame. Right now we're just gathering, we're just gathering the the rest of the gems which we're allowed to die on. So it's just a uh, relaxing stream at this point. The salt begins tomorrow with the relics, but once I have got all the gems, which we will be coming close to getting all the gems, like pretty much instantaneously, we're uh, we're going to be playing some more ranked in paladins. Yep, there's the secret box. There's nothing this way. What do you think? Do you think I can salty dark Spyro? Now there's no salt, guys. What's uh, what's with the, all the salt all of a sudden? Oh god. Oh my god. What's going on with the Twitch chat? You've you've killed it. Gem. It's just like Dark Souls. Uh, so we got boulders. And upstream is our next one. Papu Papu. Uh, Rolling Stones. Hogwild is done. Alright, Rolling Stones. And now. What do we got? Oh, but this is where the TNT is. We can't actually do it or we blow up the Brio token. We gotta wait. We gotta. We gotta trash it. We gotta throw the mask. Again, Horizon Zero Dawn. Trying to be relevant. Spyro the Bandicoot and the quest for gems. I mean, pretty much. I mean, you've you've. Uh, if you watch the videos real, you've seen the end slate. You've seen me in. You've seen. Hold on a minute. Oh! No! Just grab it! Just grab it! Just grab it. Go. There we go. But yeah, you, you've seen me in the little bandicoot girl suit, so. You pretty much nailed it right on the head there. And we're about to have all the gems. All the gems will be ours tonight as there's not as we've already got like half of them because the core gems take up six then there's like things like hog ride which are moving levels and boulders which are also moving levels i took the attack on purpose so i could get the the brio which i believe is up here no crash team fucking racing yeah waiting on that remake this was a stupid idea yeah. 
It's just like Dark Souls. <laughs> Dank Neo Sonic, I've been watching that. I love, love, love Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, tell me. Tell me, tell me. What attracts you to Kingdom Hearts 2 the most? Because I would say that I prefer the first one. I would say that either Kingdom Hearts 1 or Fragmentary Passage is the the better of the of the ones of the Kingdom Hearts. The gameplay mostly, I'll agree with you there. I think the gameplay is a lot better, it's a lot more fast paced. Except for maybe the forms, which kinda silly. But like the story, nah. The story is the story in like two the story in two and beyond is is garbage it just gets way too convoluted yes and the four hour tutorial also drags drags uh the four hour tutorial with roxas also drags the game down a lot as well like the one hour tutorial on destiny island was enough i've stopped caring for the story myself yeah, the story is the story is pretty much lost at this point. Are you excited for Kingdom Hearts three though? Like, uh, what are your thoughts on Kingdom Hearts three and the worlds that will be in? I just realised we're in the native fortress. The native fortress takes like so long. And Toy Story. Are you excited for Toy Story? Take my, my take my money, please. I don't know. That movie was my childhood. Like, okay, so it was my childhood as well. Like, I watched Toy Story as a child, but when when Jack Septsky and Cocaine Lady were announcing it. And they were like, oh my god, there's really big, there's really big Kingdom Hearts news, super big. Like, I was expecting some Alice, because Toy Story was pretty much a given, and I don't consider that big news myself. And I thought the big groundbreaking news, you know, the one that everybody really hopes for, and everybody wants pretty much confirmed, is Treasure Planet. Like, I was, I was on the edge of my seat just saying, come on, Treasure Planet. And they're like, oh, it's just Toy Story. It's like, yeah, we, but we already knew that was coming. That, that was like found in the data of Dream Drop Distance and those like unused models. Like Kingdom Toy Story was a guarantee. Treasure Planet, like that's more up in the air. I have no idea where it keeps buffering for me. I, I don't know, Holder. I do not know. But we are in a Torna stage. I haven't seen that. You haven't seen Treasure Planet? Is that what you're talking about? Have you never seen Treasure Planet? Hold on, Hornet. We hold on, Hornet. We may have a situation on our hands. Yeah, I haven't seen Treasure Planet. <sighs> what? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You, I, I'm going to tell you. So I, I'm going to tell you, Sonic. You, ha you are missing out. It is a very well put together movie it is like a fantastic movie if you if you'd seen it you would know why people were like 
a new treasure planet in Kingdom Hearts 3. Honestly, after this stream, just go and find a copy of it online. Like, just find, like, or if you've got Netflix, I don't know if it's on Netflix. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's on Netflix or, like, any sort of movie, movie stream, but... Just, just go and find Treasure Planet and watch Treasure Planet. You will not be disappointed. Like, it's a slightly slow opening with the with the kids saying, like, oh, I don't know where my dad went. But when you get past, like, the, the slow 20-minute opening, the other hour is just bloody good. It's really good. The Treasure Planet song. Oh, yeah. I want a moment to be real. Wanna touch things I don't feel Wanna hold on and sail in my arms I said that is an amazing song I think that's that like partly made the movie especially because of the visuals they attach to that song that song's like the thing that made the movie in of itself Up on the cloud. Why can I not jump on top of this cloud? Am I? Oh, okay. Well, nearly perfect. I don't like the robot on the Treasure Planet itself. He's too. Uh, he's too. What's it? He's a bit too. Uh, what's it for me? Oh, hi, Mark. So, how's your sex life? Island 1, done. That took a lot longer than I expected. Also want my Lion King 2 world. I mean that'd just pretty much be the Lion King 1. You just gotta add zero in there. No, I guess because you could go to that termite mound. Like I'd like to see the other side, the wastelands. Oh man, we we are blazing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. There needs to be a tactical change. We need big shoes strat. It's time for big shoes strat. you a mask even though they know that the only way is down unless you got big shoes ah, <laughs> big shoes <laughs> and I should also like now pay attention I just saw real say it's just like Dark Souls, and I didn't pay attention to how far I was jumping on the rope. Big shoes all the way. Big shoes all the way. Big shoes. Hey Hog, how are you doing? Did you know? Okay. <laughs> Did you know? I've got big shoes! Ooh! 
Hey, ice brick. That's some nice, uh, that's some nice icy precision platforming you got there. But, Mr. Ice Block, did you know? I've got big shoes! Ah! Hey, Mr. Hog, uh, I see you over there. Did you know, Mr. Hog? I got big shoes! Big shoes, Mr. Hog! Oh shit, these go down. All these go down. What have we got? I'm pretty sure Crash's shoes and Coco's shoes have the same hitbox. Nah, they don't. Crash Crash has bigger shoes. Crash has far bigger shoes and it's it works a whole lot better. So you've only got to make it over like one or two jumps and then the rest of it... Big shoes! Bad memories of getting the plat. Uh, don't remind me. Why did you, did, you, uh, did you do what I did? Are you big shoesing it across all the ropes? Except rather than taking your time, you had to do it in quick succession. Exactly that. Still did it with Coco. Dark Spyro cheating on big shoes. It's not cheating. They they made the level bullshit, so they give you a workaround if you're skilled enough to be able to mount the ropes with the big shoes. And of course, I am. Big shoes with a jump! However, there's like next to no safe platforms now and that's where it's gonna what's name and even then you've really got to rush it yeah you have you gotta be like whoop, whoop, whoop. all right mount the wall big shoes hello mr. ice block whoa mr. ice block I uh, I need to not mount you cuz I am too busy. There we go. Big shoes! Big shoes! Hello, Mr. Hog. I got big shoes! Oh, look, it's that turtle that everybody gets annoyed at. <laughs> Maybe in a minute. Currently doing the tutorial. Wait, on, on Paladins? No, don't do the tutorial. You haven't set up your account yet, I don't think. You need to put, like, names and stuff in. Uh-huh. That's what Malifor said. They left me the option to reset everything. I mean, he's technically not wrong. I got close to the top five on this. This or the high road. Nice. Oh, look, it's that turtle everybody gets really pissed off at. Hey, Mr. Turtle. How how you enjoying your day down there? I got big shoes! Goodbye! Oh look, there's another turtle! Big shoes! <laughs> oh no, it's the invisible platforms. I hate that bit. That is the worst bit because it's invisible platforms. Turtle, why did they put invisible platforms there? Like, give me the ropes any day. I can big shoes across the ropes any day of the week. But invisible platforms, that's when we go too far. Oh, there's only one. There's only one there. There's only one there. Only one there. 
I, Crash could be a basketball player with those shoes. Must be the shoes. It must be the shoes indeed. Big shoes. Oh, but why the invisible platform? Do, do, do. Right, so we've got, we've only got the one, the one bar. This time, oh my god, the invisible bollocks. Turtle, why is there invisible bollocks? Big shoes. Gem. What a dick. I honestly think the relics on the bridges are the most annoying in Crash 1. Yeah, I could see that. That You're probably right there. You're probably very right there, if I had to uh, say so. Okay. Right, bold dash will be easy. The high road was so annoying. I can believe it. Like Stormy Ascent, I had to do it more than once due to missing the time by a small amount. Right, what are we looking for? 35? No problem. Uh, I should switch back to Coco because we don't need the... Uh, we don't need big shoes anymore. Big shoes are only for, for the ropes. We, we want to play as Coco. So congratulations, Crash. You get to play one more level. You get to show off those sweet kicks. Those sweet kicks the wolf for one more level. And then we'll be back to Coco. Oh, you know what? We should also see if we can do that thing where if we get on the gem platform fast enough, because you're invincible on the gem platform, we can see the boulder, like, fuck up and glitch out. I think this is the last set of jumps. Just keep in mind if this is the last set of jumps. We need to get on that gem platform. It is! It is! Get on the gem platform! Is that quick enough? Ah! Not quite. Wait, 19 out of 35? Sparrow is going to hate life when he gets to that. If you're talking about Stormy Scent, you're probably right. It was one of the last Platinum Relics I got. It, Sunset Vista, and Fumbling in the Dark. Fumbling in the Dark won't mean anything to me. I'll be fine with Fumbling in the Dark. As we saw from moments ago when I was getting the uh, Lights Out gem, I've got the Gamma turned up so I can see even when the lights go out. When the lights go out... And the land is dark, and the moon is the only 
Light will see. The You're gonna be a dick! This side! Perfect. What was the hardest level for you to platinum in Crash 2 and 3? I have not done any relics in Crash 2 or 3. So, there you go. Um, oh, we're at 101%. Uh, sky, sky crazed for Crash 3 because terrible controls. Crash 2, though, the one was pissing it away, which I still can't do. I'm sure I'll, I'll enjoy all that when I get there. Well. Oh, we just got Sunset Vista left on this island. That's alright. You know, good thing is, though, I think Sunset Vista actually may be the last one, because all of the, the power plant, like, you know, the lab, Slippery Climb, Lights Out, it's all the coloured gems, so I think this actually may be the last gem that we need, because we're already over 100%. How'd you get this? Oh! So Spyro, excited about your remakes. Everyone's hyping it. Yeah, I am, mate. Indeed, I am real. This, uh, I think it's gonna be, like, E3. If I'm gonna, like, put money on it... If I'm gonna, like, put a lot of money on it, I'd say that it's gonna be announced at E3 2017. Oh, sorry, E3 2018 at this point. It seems, it seems like that's the, the long-term goal, like, they'll just be like, Oh, hey guys, by the way, just uh, letting you know that we're, we're gonna get that guy walking out on stage again, and oh look, it's, uh, it, rather than Crash's shadow following him on the beach like it did in E3 2016, it's actually a Spyro shadow following him in, like, a, a mystical Dragon Realm area in 2018. I mean, it could be before, but if I were to put money on it, it's going to be E3 2018 when it gets announced, because that's where all the hype's going to come from. And we're just going to go at that point. I want E3 2018. They have to be on every platform. Right, well, I, I need to look. Right, so. One, two, three. Token, token, token. Run. What are we at? 39 out of 90. Alright, so we've got two of every token now. Still missing 50 boxes. Bloody hell, Sunset Vista. I jumped! I pressed jump! <laughs> but I still want a Twin Sanity remake, to be honest. Oh, hey, they could also tease Spyro Mew remakes there, as he appears there too, yeah. Well, everybody's saying that the 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 either going to be E3 2016, or the clever thing to do would be put the original Spyro code into Crash Bandicoot 3, and it'd come up with a Spyro HD if you put the code in right. But of course, like they wouldn't tell you that; they just hint at it. Right. Well, there's the Cortex token. Now it's just getting to Cortex's bloody platform. And we're at 41 out of 90. Right, which one's this one? Good job. Alright, how are we doing? 
There was 21 in there, wasn't there? 64. Five, and the taunter is at the top. Right, taunter. Let's do this. Make sure you're not missing any boxes. 16. And then you bloody run. 15, 16. Already got a ton of ton of it there. At least the first one was okay. 81. Nine boxes away. Okay. No. No, no. Dude! Yeah, yeah, you're being a little bit what's the name with the Oh god No ah! <laughs> It just all went wrong. That was just a Rube, a Rube Goldberg machine of things going wrong. We just we just fell lower and lower. Grover is my favourite. I need to unlock him, shit. Um, well, there's, there's a thing about that holder which I'll, I'll deal with afterwards, after the fact. Right, there we go. Checkpoint 82. Don't fall. Good job, Spyro. <laughs> you know what? Just kill me. I want Cinder Thickness from Legends in Spyro HD. Maybe. She could be, she could be the female co counterpart like Coco, it is possible. It's either going to be that or Ember. It's one of the two. 82 plus... 82 plus 8 is correct, isn't it? Yes. Alright, I think that's all the gems. I'm saying it's either going to be Cinder or Ember. <laughs> Trophy earned the ultimate gem path. Is that it then? Are we, are we done? We've got Cortex Power. I think Cortex Power is the last one and then we're done. Yeah, we only have one level left, which is Cortex Power. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Cortex Power. Oh, I didn't, I didn't switch again. It doesn't matter, Spyro. You're going to be forced to play as Crash for the Great Hall. Just let it go. Let it go. And grab the boxes. Right. Uh, what's this way? I don't believe there's anything this way, but I'm still going to check. Oh, no. There's this guy that's got a... Fuck 
Alright, that's the platform. We need to now backtrack. I bloody hate... Good. I hate Cortex power so fucking much. Right, now we go up this way. It could be an OC creator like Sonic Forces. Well, you know, at one point that was supposed to happen with Spyro's Kingdom, where you might be able to create your own OC, but that, but fucking, you know, Activision was like, no, Spyro, you're not getting your own kingdom, you're going to fucking Skylands, you piece of shit. Watch, just go for that one. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. Whoa, now. Then you go up this one. And you're like... Thank you, and then you're like, thank you, and you backtrack down this one, over you go, and you go down here, Don't blow those up yet, because you need to look at shit. Oh! Fuck you. Right, and that's going towards the split. So now we've got to make it all the way fucking back. All the way fucking back. Right, it's 25 out of 42. Alright, Mr. Dick! No! Let's not go! Oh. oh, fuck it! I'm not going to die yet! Shut up. Right. Right, that's those two done. And down we go. Uh, right, maybe we should get the other side first. No, because you need to you need to save the you need to save the checkpoint. Then again the checkpoint is on solid platform, so if we do it this way round, then backtrack down the other side. I don't. Okay. Fuck you. Yep, yeah, and people normally hate female fan OCs. Do they hate? Do they hate them as much as Cortex Power, the worst level in the game? Because it's a load of backtracking bullshit. was taken this day. All the piss will be taken this day. I did I didn't touch it. Fuck you. Oh, it's, it's no
There's a platform that goes down and I don't know what's beyond it. Just... Yep, look at the cringe videos making fun of teen girl OCs. Fangirls made Rouge the Bat, interesting. I mean, I think Rouge the Bat's perfectly fine. I think it's perfectly fine. Sorry, what was that? Spyro is freaking out and the ray didn't touch him. Cortex power equals worst. Clear gem, yes it does. Dude bros bow down. To your female counterparts, the rise of Dark Spiral. Nah, this is this is the last gem, so I'm not like that annoyed because um, you know, oh, any moment now the relics are coming. Right now, gotta go back, and now we go back. You can't make it back. You already destroyed your platform. No, the platform comes back. The platform comes fucking back. Oh this just Oh this is just peachy. Just fucking peachy. Boom. Right. So we face uh we face and then we've got this the big issue Come back, come back, come back! We, we, we live. We live. He lives. He lives. Is it just one of you? There's just one of you. Let's go! No episodes of Skylanders Academy would be the prom episodes. Spyro make another portal for Crash to come back to to take him to the prom. Then they kiss. Right, so let's finish, let's finish this stream off, shall we? Let's finish this stream off. <laughs> Silence. And then Cinder gets jealous. You know, you're, you're, you're making it out like there's gonna be a season two. That shit's gone, dude. It got cancelled. But if it were, if it was gonna, if it make a funny episode, I would, I would take Crash to the prom to make Cinder jealous. That'd be quite hilarious.
Crash breaks with Spyro, nah. I break up with him. Yes. That would be the reason for the breakup. Papu Papu sold the ruins of Castle Cortex to a resort developer. He then, then used the proceeds to open up a big and tall shop on the island. After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Wu went to write a well-received book through the eye of the vortex, a study of rapid evolution and something. Koala Kong moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal with Universal Productions. Currently, he's working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. Pinstripe moved to Chicago, where he now owns and operates a citywide stationery company. He is saving money for his upcoming grub grubventional campaign. I don't know what that is. After the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Nitrous Brio rediscovered his first love. Tending bars. The world has heard nothing more of Cortex since Crash for all his plans, but evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. Someone needs to write a fanfic. Yes, they do. The reason why Torna dumped Crash. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He was cheating with me. <laughs> he is obviously... He is oblivious as fuck. Yes. Dr. Roo XD. Oh my god, Dr. Roo. But that is the end. We have gathered the gems. We have gathered the crystals. Even though there's no crystals, I'm just going to take that as story mode. So now... So now... There is only one thing left to do next time. So this will be the end of the stream and the end of the video for all of you that will see it on YouTube at a later date. I think you all know what's next. I hope you'll join us in the stream because for now, yeah, tick tock, tick tock. Oh yes. So, for all of you on YouTube, thank you all for watching this gem montage. If you did indeed enjoy the video, do please feel free to leave a like. And of course, if you don't want to miss out on the relics, because oh, oh, we, oh, we, Jerry, they're going to be some fun. They're going to be some real fun. It's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun so yeah if you don't want to miss out on the relics then then don't forget to hit that subscribe button 918 subscribers only 82 away from the first big milestone I can't thank you all enough and of course if you want to know when the stream goes up and anything else there's always a link down below to my Twitter if you'd like to see what I'm tweeting, the public Discord if you want to come in and chat, I'm a Patreon if you'd like to donate to me and uh, show your support further, but you don't have to. But for now, thank you all for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next Crash video for the Relic, for the Relic races. Oh, it's gonna be good! 
And then as for all of you on Twitch, uh, kind of the same rules apply really, this is the end of the stream so I hope you all did enjoy the stream and I hope you'll all tune in for the next stream where tick tock tick tock motherfuckers or as Sky would say time's ticking I'm gonna add that to the original video because I've got that sound file so for now uh, yeah that's that's the end of the stream that is the end of the stream so I'm now gonna go and we'll we'll do some TikTok TikTok another day and blame you've come in just at the end so thank you all for watching this stream I hope you all enjoy it and I hope all of the newcomers like um oh what was his name now Star Crusher 94 he was he showed up near the beginning he may still be watching but I hope all the newcomers also enjoyed the stream and I'll see all of you so I'll uh, I'm gonna stop now uh, so goodbye goodbye everybody I'll be in the public discord and I'll be uh, doing some ranked mode Dark Neon no not Dark Neon that's the person that's been constantly speaking uh, it was it was someone else it, they were like star 94 I remember the 94 but yeah but I will I will chat in the public discord as I play a little bit of paladins and finish off my my ranked sessions my ranked preliminaries with uh, Wonderbolt so I'll see you all for anybody that is not in the discord you can go find it via my YouTube it's in every description and uh, code star yeah there you go that's his name code star but yeah so for code star and everybody else if you want to come join the discord there's a link in in my youtube it's easy to find insane spiral 01 same as every every other place i'm at so if you want to find my discord you can come to my youtube and you can find it through there if you want to come in and chat but for everybody else like you blame and you real and you holder i will uh, see all of you in the discord chat and of course Sonic, uh, Sonic, what was it? Neon Sonic? I've already forgot the name. Dark Neon Sonic, but also for you, Dark Neon Sonic, there is the public Discord, which you can again find in my YouTube descriptions if you also want to continue the chat via the Discord. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see all of you for the Relic Races. Ooh, 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 that's gonna be fun!